Are, are you okay? I'm, I'm fine, thanks. Are, are you here for something? Yeah, I saw the sign out front. It said, uh, your door was back here? That sign was for someone else. Oh yeah, well, I didn't think you were expecting me. So, well, so what is this? Is this an old house remodeled in the separate apartments? Exactly. Um, who are you? Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? And from online? From the game? Yeah, how many other Thunderbolts do you know? You're kidding me. No. Uh, you don't look much like your avatar. <laughs> I believe that avatar should represent the inner self, not the accidents of outward appearance. <laughs> sure does sound like something Thunderbolt would say. You do look like your avatar, but more beautiful. Aww. Thank you. I mean, look, you can't be here. You need to go. Well, you said you were in trouble. You mean last night? Y yeah, you, you didn't expect me to just ignore that, did well, you? That's exactly what I expected. Oh, look, this is none of your business. You don't belong here. Now, excuse me, I'm in the middle of my practice. But, uh, as long as I'm here... You are violating some major boundaries here. I was just checking up on you. <gasps> really? And why didn't you think to warn me that you were going to appear in the flesh? I was afraid you'd say no. That was smart because that's what I'm saying. No. Now, Cole, I can't have you barging into my real life. Wild flower. Don't call me that. Why not? Because that's just a name from the game. This is real life. All right, then. Margarita. Maggie, I'm Maggie now. How do you even know Margarita? Uh, it's a pretty name. It's, uh, it's Russian for Margaret, right? Uh, how do you know that? Anyway, around here, Margarita's just a fruity drink with tequila in it. It's not a name people take seriously. <clears throat> I will take you seriously. We'll take this seriously. You need to leave. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I guess this was a bad idea. I, uh, I, um, I, I guess I'll see you online. Wait, how did you find me? That was easy. You left clues. What kind of clues? Big clues. Tell me how you found me. Do you really want to go into that? Yes. Okay, uh, well first, uh, you posted a photo of a tree in your backyard a few months ago. Uh, a Dunkin' Donuts was in the background. Uh, Second, I knew you lived somewhere in the D.C. metro area. Third, I looked up all the local Dunkin' Donuts on Google Street View and identified the correct one. Four, Stop! That sounds like a lot of work. Nothing to it. I, I don't remember posting a photo with a Dunkin' Donuts in it. Yeah, it was uh, a few months ago. You posted a photo of a cardinal's nest in a tree in your yard. Dunkin' Donuts was in the background. Over here, I would think. Yeah. Yeah, that's the angle. Come and look. <coughs> See? Oh, yeah. Told you. You've been stalking me. <laughs> I was just looking up a friend's address. We're only friends online. <laughs> We're more than friends online. Uh, don't embarrass us both by taking that stuff seriously. <laughs> All right. Online, we're lovers. In real life, we're nothing. Sorry for bothering you. Listen, what's your name? Jason Bolton. Why does that sound familiar? Does it? Oh, that's where you get Bol Thunderbolt from, from Bolton. Yeah, that's part of it. Uh, what about Wildflower? Where did you get Wildflower? Uh, I don't know, I just picked it. Oh. Like picking a flower. That's just like something you would do online. <laughs> so, this is yoga you're doing, isn't it? Uh, it is. Is that how you stay in such good shape? Look, thank you for saying that, and I appreciate the fact that you were concerned about my well-being, but I've got a lot on my mind. I think you should go. All right, uh, this. My dropping by, it's not going to disrupt what we have online, is it? I hope not. I do enjoy our time together there. Maybe more than I really should. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, but one last question. If you have time to exercise, don't you have time to talk to me? Just a little. Well, this isn't just exercise. It's a form of meditation, a way to let go, a way to clear my mind. 
Uh, and is it clear yet? Clear as mud. Well, so take a minute or two. Dump some of the muddy stuff out to me. Maybe that will help. I don't know. Yeah, just give it a shot. Can I trust you with a secret? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, you can trust me with your life. This is going to sound crazy. <laughs> yeah, just try me. I'm afraid I'm going to be deported. Maybe pretty soon. Look, deported? You? Uh, to where? To Russia. Th that's crazy. I told you. Weren't you born here? Just between you and me, I'm not so sure. You're not sure? Well, my earliest memories are here, but is anyone really sure where they were born? I mean, you take your parents' word for it, right? Not me. My dad videotaped my whole birth, <laughs> <laughs> including the ride to the hospital. I've seen everything. You now it's even on YouTube. Oh. All I've got is what my mom tells me. Well, what does your mom tell you? She says I was born in a taxi cab. Oh, that doesn't sound very sanitary. No, I suppose not, but here I am. I made it. Well, your body must have great immunity. And what I need is legal immunity. Oh, so this taxi cab, where was it? Oh, uh, my mom says she can't remember. My dad traveled around the country a lot. She traveled with him even after she was expecting. Well, was he a sales rep? Uh, no, he did odd jobs, construction. Wait, wasn't he a bodyguard for some uh, rich guy? That was later. How do you even know that? Oh, uh, you told me once? So, uh, this, uh, taxi cab, uh, where was the hospital? What hospital? The, the hospital that the taxi cab was going to? Oh, uh, my mom's kind of old school. She was going to a midwife. Okay, uh, well, what does she remember about the midwife? She says it's all a blur. <laughs> wow. So you never got a birth certificate? Oh, I did, later, but it was fake. Well, where'd you get a fake birth certificate? My mom. Wow, that's quite a crazy story. So, uh, wow, yeah, your mother sounds like quite a character. No, uh, please don't talk about my mother. That way, that's my job, not yours. Oh, all right, uh, is she still alive? Yes. Well, where does she live? Uh, Russia, she went back. Well, what about your father? Dead. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, I guess I shouldn't speak ill of him either. Speak ill of him all you want. Okay, uh, so, um, do you still talk to your mom? Of course. Oh, right. And what did she say again about giving you a fake birth certificate? <laughs> she said she was just trying to make up for the fact that she failed to get me registered properly in the first place. Huh. So you've got two problems. You're about to be deported, and your mother is a lunatic. If you're going to talk about my mom that way, you must leave. I'm sorry. I was just joking. I'm sure she's perfectly sane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so sure. She makes stuff up sometimes. Crazy stuff. But... She's the only mother I've got. Well, we've all got our quirks. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, do you want some? That's your own personal bottle. No, silly, I mean, can I get you your own water? I have a couple of cold bottles in the fridge. Or would you rather have juice? Actually, just some tap water. I think it's safer than the bottled water. It's the chlorine. Kills the germs. I'll be right back. Anyone for literally years? Yeah, I've got a pretty good idea. 
I gave it up. Why? Well, I wanted to hit the reset button. I was getting into the wrong kinds of relationships with too many guys. I wanted to let my head clear. I wanted to let my heart heal. Did that work? <laughs> Somehow, it resulted in my playing hours of sword and sorcery games on the internet. <laughs> Every night, locked into an imaginary relationship with you. What do you think? Did it work? Worked for me. <laughs> it's driven me insane. I spend time at work thinking about cyber sex with your character, with your avatar. It hasn't cleared my mind at all. It's fogged my mind with thoughts of gosh, just talking with you has brought it all on again. <laughs> I know what I need. What do you need? Something bad. Something with bodies. Not words. Just this one. Uh, I don't want to discourage you, but um, how is this going to help? It's going to keep me from obsessing over this ideal relationship. It's going to break the spell, okay? Yeah, if you say so. It'll just be you and me in a down-to-earth bed, and my body will quit complaining to my brain, and maybe I'll be able to think straight again. You really have your mind set on this. Are you going to kiss me or what? I am. That was good. Yes. Very good. I feel like, like, uh, like a drink. Ha! Ah, ah, ha! Would you like a drink? Yeah, something with alcohol, just a little bit, just before we start, just to smooth the edges. Do you have anything? <laughs> I have some vodka. That will do it. I'll be right back. Trace my lips along the nape <laughs> of your neck. I feel the touch of your lips, and the thrill runs down my spine. I nibble at your earlobe, and I run my hands through your hair. I pull you deeper into my arms, wanting to feel your warmth. I wonder what I have done to deserve the favor of a lady so beautiful. I squeeze your arm, happy that my warrior has come for me. Our gaze is me, our lips are me. Trent, you're... Well, 
I don't have my watch on, but I bet you're right on time. 6 p.m. on the dot. Hey, thanks for putting that sign out front for me. Uh, sure. Uh, I'm afraid I let the time get away from me. I took a nap. Yes, you do look relaxed. More relaxed than I've seen you in weeks. It was a very nice nap. Well, take a second to freshen up if you need to. Uh, yes, get out of this yoga outfit for one thing. Your choice. It's, um, it's quite becoming. Uh, listen, I know we have some serious stuff to talk about, but it's such a beautiful evening. Would you mind if we met out here at the patio table? Uh, let me just clean up these glasses. Looks like you had quite the party. Oh, no, no party. Just a friend dropped by. We chatted. Who was it? Uh, nobody you know. Uh, can I get you anything? Uh, some water, perhaps. Bottle of water, okay? Sounds good. Great. No word on where she went. Yeah, well, I thought they were better keeping track of their people. Well, they should. Yeah. Call me as soon as you hear. Thanks. Everything okay? You don't happen to know where your mother is, do you? In Sochi. It's a Russian resort spot. She lives there now. <laughs> yeah, I know. But she's not there now. <laughs> You're trying to track down my mother? It's the middle of the night there. So when do you expect her to be home? I don't judge her. She's a widow. She can sleep where she wants. She seems to be at the root of this problem of yours. I'd rather you refrain from criticizing her, if you don't mind. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this thing. Yeah, well, me too. I know that it hasn't been looking too good for you, but I have a proposal. What kind of proposal? The old-fashioned kind. Marry me. White dress, green card, no problem. We can't do a fake marriage. First of all, it's against the law. So we'll do a real marriage. A real marriage? I care about your well-being, and I find you very attractive. A real marriage? A real marriage. You mean like, like live together, sleep together? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> This is sudden. Your situation is sudden. You never said anything. Have you read our sexual harassment policy? I couldn't afford to risk my job, but now you've lost yours, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I've lost my job? Uh, well, you will. Soon. <laughs> I'm awfully sorry, Maggie, but we can't exactly have an illegal alien working at the agency. Uh, what am I going to do? You're going to say yes to me. You like me that way that much? I think you're very attractive. Well, being attracted to someone is no reason to marry her. It's a damn good start. Well, attraction has a way of fading. Look, I've been around. I know what I like. <laughs> and you are the total package. You're sexy, but not stuck up. You're able to carry on an intelligent conversation. And you're honest. You're not the type of girl who cheat on a guy. I guess I should say thank you. You should say yes to me. I would love waking up next to you morning after morning. Trin, you don't really know me. Of course I know you. You've only known me two years and only in the office. Everything in your security clearance came up clean. <laughs> <laughs> Except, of course, for the fact you weren't born here. You don't marry a woman because she has a good security clearance. In this business, it doesn't hurt. Look, Maggie, just give it some thought. From everything I can gather, your social life seems to be extremely quiet. Just like mine has been like that. This job just chews up too much of my time. I haven't been dating for a while, and you haven't either. It's a frustrating situation, don't you think? Are you saying you want to marry me out of sexual frustration? <laughs> Throughout history, a lot of men have proposed for exactly that reason. They dress it up in nicer words. I suppose that's true. Don't you want a man in your life? A real man who can... Love you and treat you the way you deserve? Well, I... It's not that you like women better. No. I, I only ask because you're such an attractive young woman and your social life, it almost seems too quiet. Well, I thought a quiet spell would be good. Really? Why was that? 
Men are a force for chaos. They drive you crazy. I've often felt the same about women. That's just what a man would think. The fact is, women have more emotional intelligence. Must be nice. No, it isn't nice. Try to explain things logically and men can't follow along. I admit that I sometimes have trouble. <laughs> I admit you've always understood me better than most men I've known. You've taught me so much at work without ever talking down to me. Let me say in turn that you have been an excellent student. You have a real knack for analytical work. Connecting the dots. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, this um, quiet spell of yours. Are you ready to make some noise again? Oh, it was never supposed to last forever. But could it be over today? I guess you could say that. So that's a yes. No, it's, it's not a yes. But you make it sound so practical. Maybe I should give it some thought. I'm afraid I haven't done this very romantically. <laughs> Wouldn't we like you, would it? But you have to have known the way that I've taken you under my wing that you meant something to me. Well, something, yes, not this exactly. Then maybe you felt something for me too? Well, we have a warm working relationship, but I really maybe just... Maybe it just needs to get a little warmer. It sure is getting warmer. But I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like... It wasn't so bad, was it? Since you asked, it was pretty good. Um, <laughs> but I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, my head is spinning. That's only natural. I'll say. Maybe you just need more data. This is not the right time or place. Well... We could go inside, explore your feelings further. Not a good idea. Maggie, I really think we should talk about this now. Let's go for a walk. Did you hear that? No, I didn't hear anything. Let's go now. Something fell inside. Well, you don't have a roommate, do you? Or a pet? No, no pets. Let's go. Don't you think we should find out what that noise was? No. Walk with me. All right. But first. One more kiss if you don't mind. Not a good idea. Maggie! Uh, Jason! Maggie! Trent! This is my friend Jason! Jason, this is my boss, Trent. What kind of friend? We play games. What kind? Online, virtual games. Virtual? He looks rather physical. What happened to all that stuff about being like a nun? Well, I guess I've left the convent. What convent? Oh, is that a reference to your quiet spell? Yes. I can't believe this. Jason, would you mind going back inside? I'm having a meeting up here with my boss. Is that how most of your meetings go? Jason, don't go jumping to conclusions. Jason, is it? You seem upset. Because I am. Why is that? We don't need to talk about this. Maggie, I've known you a long time. Jason, we just met today. Then why is he here today? Because he heard I was in trouble. You're wrong. About what? About never meeting me before. Really? Really? Do we really need to talk about this now? Well, I'm sorry, but I don't remember. I bet you do. You bet I do? That doesn't even make sense. I'm the one who knows what I remember and what I don't. It was at the beach. What beach? Virginia Beach. You were swimming. Not too well. Doggy paddle. A big wave hit you. It pulled you out. It sucked you down. And you, you, your arms flailed. You tried to get back to the air, but you couldn't. I was just a girl. I remember thinking I was going to die like that. I remember thinking how stupid it was. I remember thinking how sad my mother could be. Oh God, I breathed in water. It hurt horribly. And then? And then I was on the sand in the sunlight and this boy was blowing into my mouth, was smiling and my mother was crying. How did that happen? The boy saw me drowning. He was a strong swimmer. Somehow he pulled me out. No. No? Tell me that wasn't you. You saved her life. I did. I can't believe this. I believe I win the bet. We have met each other before. <laughs> we even had dinner together. Well, actually, it was your family and mine. Your mother organized it. <laughs> mother was always organizing things. And why are you just now informing her of this prior connection? <laughs> <laughs> 
Wait a minute, how come we're friends online anyway? Because we have a bond. No, I mean, how is it that we just so happen to run into each other online? I wanted to tell you. <laughs> it almost sounds like stalking. Trent, please, I can handle my end of the conversation. Of course you can. Tell me you weren't stalking me. I wasn't stalking you. Oh, well good! That settles that! What is stalking anyway? Good question. Were my attentions ever unwanted? Well, no, not exactly. Did you ever tell me to leave you alone? No. In fact, you told me you loved me. You loved me? My character loves his character. Jason, that was imaginary. It was part of a game. Well, today wasn't imaginary. What happened today? I needed to calm my mind. And I walk out and find you in his arms. I don't think that's any of your business. Think what you want. Actually, you know what I think? I think you're living in a fantasy world. And why should we believe the story about him saving you from drowning? I remember it. Yeah, you remember it. But do you remember him? He found out about it somehow and recast himself the hero of the story. You're the one who's making up crap. Jason, take a couple of deep breaths. All right. Jason! <laughs> Trent was proposing marriage to me. It was quite a shock. I told him I would think about it. Marriage? Trent, Jason is an <clears throat> online friend. He came here today because he heard I was in trouble. Something came over me. I guess you deserve to know that, given the circumstances. <sighs> Look, it's completely understandable. Hey, we've all had our fling. This wasn't a fling. A woman you barely know does you on impulse? That's a fling! Labels aren't important. But meaning is important. I, I suppose that's true. This wasn't just a fling for me. I know. This was once in a lifetime for me. I know. You do? I figured it out. I did okay? You did very well. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Don't. It was the kid's first time? So what if it was? And if that explains it. Perfectly understandable. It's gratitude. A nice woman finally helps you out. Judge, are you jealous? It's not an attractive trait. <laughs> You're right, darling. <laughs> it is not attractive. It sometimes has a way of rearing its ugly head. <laughs> what can I say? We're a possessive species. <laughs> but I'm willing to put it all behind me. What do you say, Jason? Shall we agree to be civil? Hey, let's shake on it. Sorry, I'm not much of a hand-shaking guy. How about a fist bump? <laughs> you won't shake my hand. Why not? It's nothing personal. It's just that a lot of germs are spread through handshaking. <laughs> I see a cleanliness freak. That explains it. Explains the first time thing too, doesn't it? What are you talking about? I'm just saying it's completely understandable. If you can't shake hands with a man, how could you possibly shake bodies with a woman? And yet I did. Yeah, desperation's a great motivator. Well, I guess you would know. Please. So, are we shaking hands? Or are we? If it will shut you up, you can wash your hand afterwards. That's quite a grip you have there. Sorry if I'm hurting you. Not at all, not at all. We can stop any time you want. Oh, are my germs making you uncomfortable? No, <laughs> it's your breath. See if this helps. Stop both of you and make me get both of you. Stop now. I'll take my people over you. I'll take my people over you. Mama? Mama? I mean, Yuliana Borowski? Don't stop fighting on my account. Please continue. Margarita and I will cheer you on. Perhaps we could lay a small wager. Tell me who do you think will win? Mama, what are you doing here? I saw the sign out front, so I had to come back and see my little bunny rabbit. Mama, really? You said you were in trouble about this silly citizenship thing. I thought it would be best to see you in person. It's all right, isn't it? Of course. Told you she was in her apartment. I guess that mystery is solved. You were checking on my apartment in Sochi. Yes. That was very silly of you. I am right here. I look for, <laughs> I look for me in Russia. Let me guess. You are some kind of intelligence official that would explain your mistake. I find they are often low on intelligence. You shouldn't make fun of your own profession. Trent, what are you saying? Trent, I know that name. Oh, darling, this is your boss. Well then, Trent. <laughs> Let me assure you that I have never been intelligence official. I have evidence. Yet. You may have evidence that I was a spy. That's not really the same thing. Spies are out in the field risking their lives while intelligence officials sit at home. Yuliana Borowski, do you admit that you're a spy? <laughs> Certainly not. I just said you may have evidence. I spit upon your evidence. It's worthless. 
We'll see about that. Mama, what is going on? Nothing, Gunya, but who is this young man gaping at me so rudely? You look familiar. This is Borovsky. It's been a long time. I don't think you'll Stop. recognize Stop. I him. never forget any of what Let me look on you. I was just a kid. Oh my god! The bitch! Well, Steve Trent told you that was reality. <laughs> I did not know you had stayed in touch with your little lifesaver. I didn't either. <laughs> Jason, is it? That's right. <laughs> Mrs. Borowski, I must warn you, the United States government would like to ask you a few questions. Let them ask. It appears you provided your daughter with a falsified document for the purpose of subverting our laws. Right. Is this another of your far-fetched investigations? Far-fetched? I don't think so. Your birth certificate was a forgery, was it not? So I'm told, but that doesn't make my mother a spy. Maggie, look at this from the agency's side. We have an employee applying for security clearance. She swears she was born here, but her birth certificate turns out to be a very high-class forgery. Do you know who makes forgeries of such high quality? Intelligence agency? The Russians are pretty good at it. Well, if you figured it out it was a forgery, it wasn't that good, was it? The only reason we figured it out is because we called up the state of Minnesota and asked them to verify. Maybe. I had no idea you were applying for this sort of security clearance. You should have told me. I had no idea my birth certificate was fake. My apologies, it must have been a shock. That's putting it mildly. <laughs> it's my fault. I should have known you might take an interest in intelligence work. How would you know that? The apple does not fall far from the tree. What are you saying? I am not saying anything. I am repeating old Russian proverb. You have this about apple and tree. You have this saying in English, do you not? Oh, of course we do. Mama, maybe you should just shut up. Trent, uh, shouldn't you be informing Mrs. Borowski on her right to remain silent? Please. Jason, what is this Mrs. Borowski? Call me Yuliana. That's what I always called you. You were a child. You are a grown man now. All right. Yuliana. Jason, are you a lawyer? No. Oh, well, then clearly you must be a paralegal. No. What do you do? I'm an electrical engineer. Oh, Thunderbolt! Yeah, that's the other part. <laughs> what? Nothing. Anyway, Mr. Engineer, do you really think that you should be offering up advice about remaining silent to Mrs. Borowski? Friend, call me Yuliana. There is no need to, um, how you say, stand on ceremony. What? Just because you think I am spy, this is no reason to be so formal. Or are you trying to maintain psychological distance? Some fancy interrogation technique. I'm not interrogating you. We have experts who specialize in that. Fine. So call me Yuliana. All right, Yuliana. That's better. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, Yuliana, I need to step out of the yard to make a phone call. You can make your call here. I won't mind. But I don't think you should hear. I don't think any of you should hear. Then go. It's free country, isn't it? No thanks to you! Trent, what the hell are you doing? My job? Trent, you said you cared about me. And I certainly do. Then why the hell are you doing this to my mother? Maggie, darling, this isn't personal. This is orders. From two levels up. There's nothing I can do about it. Nothing? Well, I'm trying to make this easier on her. I'm doing that for you. <laughs> Mama, it seems like you're in real trouble. It does seem that way. Well, we have time. Do you need a lawyer, or do you need to escape? Escape? You are offering to aid a fugitive? I don't think that's a very good idea for you or for my daughter. You two are lovers, yes? Mama! I'll take that as a yes. And Trent, he takes an interest in you too. Mama, we don't need to talk about this. I think we do. Are you interested in Trent? No. One minute he's offering to marry me, the next he's accusing my mother of being a spy. To marry you? So I wouldn't get deported. That was very nice of him. <laughs> Mighty good work. He has a good job, no? Yes. And he likes you that way. Yes, I mean, I guess I've always known that, but I never thought anything would come of it. Peggy, you aren't seriously thinking of accepting his proposal, are you? I was going to give it some thought, not anymore. Peggy, if you need someone to marry you, 
Let me do it. Jason, we just met. We've known each other forever. We just re-met today. I thought you two were lovers. You have that glow. A one-time thing today. More than a year now. Well, you argue like lovers. Why do you say that? Because your arguments make no sense. They make perfect sense. You just don't understand. You see, yes, this is how it always is with mothers and daughters. So do you need a lawyer? No lawyer. But if they take me away, and if they allow you to remain, do me a favor, call the Russian embassy. Tell them what happened. It can't hurt. Sure. Oh, you do that, not Maggie. You write down the number in my notebook. Why don't you want me to make the call? If you have interest in intelligence work for the Americans, it's perhaps better you don't contact the Russians on behalf of possible spy, don't you think? I don't think I'm going to have much chance of that career at this point, Mama. Am I even an American? Good point. But if you like intelligence work, Americans are not the only game in town. <laughs> what are you saying? You are a lovely girl. Very attractive, if you will allow your mother to say so. With a good head on your shoulders. And a perfect American accent. But, uh, and you understand exactly how Americans think. This could be very valuable on international market. I would never sell out my country. What is your country? Is it really America? Americans are ready to deport you to Russia. And Mother Russia will welcome you with open arms, I assure you. Thank you, I, I guess, but I don't feel like a Russian. I feel like an American. You grew up with Russian parents. I grew up here. Now look, I am not trying to tell you what to do and just pointing out options. <laughs> but if they do deport you, I want you to know that you will be welcome in country of your parents. And if you need a place to live, I would be glad to have you staying at my place. Thank you. I know my apartment is small by American standards, but Sochi is a beautiful place. Many tourists. There is always demand for workers who speak English. That's good to know. Of course, you have all these men proposing marriage to you, so <laughs> perhaps you will be able to stay here. Let's do it, Maggie. Let's get married today. Jason, I'm flattered. Now stop. <laughs> Even if you get married, they may deport you anyway. It's not an automatic thing. They review these cases. They look at them very carefully where issues of national security are concerned. That makes sense. Of course, if you marry Trent, he may be in a position to make these problems go away. Trent? He's a jerk who's trying to get your mother locked up. Jason. Please, I'm afraid you have some creepy stalker issues of your own. And I need to talk to my mother now, especially if she's getting locked up. I'll be quiet. Mama, it seems they've used me to make a trap for you. That's how it's done. I'm, I'm sorry, I had no idea. It's annoying. Your papa and I get you the highest quality birth certificate and now this. Well, wait, papa was in on this too? We were quite a team. I miss him. It's too bad those bastards shot him. <laughs> you told me he died of an infection. <laughs> it was a leg infection. It came on very suddenly. <laughs> I feel like my entire life has been a lie. No, not your life. Mine. But maybe. I want you to know something that has never been a lie. My love for you. Mama. All right, Juliana, it's time to go. They're ready for you. They? Who is they? Do you have SWAT team in front? For a no. defenseless woman. You escaped once before, didn't you? From what? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Um, United Nations, New Year's Day, burglary. Is any of this ringing a bell? You have done some research. Look. There's just a couple of guys out there in a car. I can take you to them. Or would you rather they came back here for you? I do always enjoy being pursued by them. <laughs> but in this case, let's keep the promotion to a minimum. Well, Mama, I'll go with you to wherever they're taking you. Sorry, Maggie, I can't let you do that. Well, I'll walk her out front then. All right, just don't make a scene. 
Jason, it's been very nice running into you again. You too, Mrs. Borofsky. Uh, uh, Juliana. Uh, <laughs> Hi, my name is Jason Bolton. I was asked to leave you a message. One of your citizens has been taken in for questioning by some U.S. agency. No, I don't know which agency. Uh, they think she might be a spy. Yes, spy. Juliana Borofsky. Some place called Sochi? You can handle it? Okay, bye. I can't believe this is happening. I just got off the phone with the Russian embassy. They took down the information very matter-of-factly. I suppose they get these calls every now and then. They put handcuffs on my mother. Did anything else happen? No, they just drove her away. Trent drove after them. Good. I mean, uh, I'm not going to miss seeing him around. Her. How are you holding up? Barely. I'm sorry. I'm not so sure I should trust you either. Well, what's the matter? You should have told me. About what? All of it. To start with, you should have told me it was your first time. First time at what? First time with a woman in bed, that's what. Oh, that. That. Is that obvious? I figured it out after the second time. Mm, I thought the second time was better. They were both good in their own way. They were good? Very good for me. But that's not the point. For me, it was amazing. So why didn't you tell me up front? Well, why did you need to know? Because I thought I was just having a brief fling to relieve some tension and break a spell. But I didn't know I was changing someone's life. Now it's probably burned into your brain like a movie you're going to replay forever. That's for sure. <laughs> So why didn't you tell me? Even like men with experience. So? So you can see where a guy might be afraid to mention his lack of experience, afraid it might derail the train. Derail the train. So to speak. A train going into a tunnel. Can you get any more mechanical than that? I didn't mean it that way. But you said you were an engineer, didn't you? Yeah, electrical, not train. Uh, but calculating probabilities, right? Figuring out the best way to make something happen, right? Are you saying I've done that with you? Well, isn't this whole thing just a little weird, a little obsessed? No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? No to which part? It's not weird. What about obsessed? Tell me you're not unhealthily obsessed with no, me. No, I, I just care about you and want what's best for you. This is too much for me. It has been kind of an overwhelming thing. And you're kind of an overwhelming stalker. You know, you still haven't told me how you figured out I was playing the game as Wildflower. That's pretty easy. Right? No! Stop! I don't want to know. Okay. I'm going inside now. I better go with you. No, you go home to wherever you came from. Sure. Well, no problem. And don't come into my life again unless I explicitly invite you. Okay. I mean... It was fun, but this isn't good for you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. I'm going inside now. Bye. Bye. I love you.
coming by. My pleasure. May I come in? It's a mess in there. Let's talk out here. How are you holding up? These are pretty. Oh, I hadn't noticed them. Fresh picked. What are they? I don't know what you call them. They grow wild around here. Sounds like weeds. But they do look nice. I guess they are like weeds. No one tends to them, but they grow anyway. Is that the letter to your mother? Yes, here. Sorry we can't let you see her. How is she holding up? Surprisingly well. She's uh, cheerful, talkative, although she doesn't really say anything we can use. <laughs> she keeps telling us to call some contact of hers at the Pentagon. Crazy stuff. Well, did you call? Yeah, it's just some guy's voicemail. We think she made up the numbers just to mess with our heads. I probably shouldn't even be talking about this. I appreciate your confiding in me. What's in the letter? It's not sealed. You can read it. I would never invade your privacy that way. <laughs> but someone will read it before they give it to her. I just want to tell her I love her. She's your mother. Of course you love her, no matter what she's done. I just never pictured her being a spy. She compromised an American diplomat. We think he opened a safe for her. Compromised? Seduced. Ew. Man, <laughs> let's face it. Your mother is a very sexy woman. She's quite capable of seducing a man. Let's not talk about this. Have you thought about what I suggested? Marriage? Yes. I talked to my friend Rosemary about it. She's a lawyer. She said marriage might be my best option if I don't want to move to Russia. What do you think? I think moving to Russia would be like being flushed down a drain. But there's no <coughs> way I married a guy who's putting my mother behind bars. Maggie, I told you this wasn't my call. I only stayed on the case so that I could help your mother if I could. I realize now that was a mistake. What I should have done is just dump this case into someone else's lap. I never meant to hurt you. Trent, you're not even really in love with me. Love is just a word. Let's look at the reality. I think very highly. <laughs> I find you very attractive. I think this could grow into an abiding affection. But you barely know me. They say you don't know someone until you've been married for 20 years. And sometimes not even then. Rosemary said the immigration people would never accept such a marriage. On what grounds? If we're not really in love. Maggie, people get married all the time for all sorts of legitimate reasons. Love is just one of them. We simply tell the truth. We've known each other a couple of years. We find each other very attractive, and we'd like to spend our lives together. They would ask about my legal problems. So they ask. We simply say this terrible situation brought us closer together, made us realize how much we miss each other, that we want to be together. Somehow you make it sound so sensible. I'm confident we can get it approved by the immigration people. I know someone over there. Hi, up. They'll put in a good word for us. <laughs> I, I still kind of done that you're so eager to marry me. Maggie, I've been watching you around the office for two years, watching the sway of your hips, left, right, left, right. They've got me paralyzed, hypnotized. Somehow stimulating and soothing at the same time. So my hips paralyze and hypnotize you. So, okay, how long is that going to last? You don't have to worry about duration. All you have to do is stay with me until you get your green card. That's fair exchange. After that, you can leave me if you want. I see. I guess. Look, can we drop this whole marriage topic for a second? I have some questions I need to ask you. Fire away. When did you learn my mother might be a spy? It popped up when you applied for your security clearance. <sighs> Turns out we had a file on her, although no one had looked at it for quite some time. It did have some interesting items, including the uh, burglary I mentioned at the United Nations 25 years ago. 25 years ago? The year I was born? Well, hasn't the statute of limitations run out yet? <laughs> for burglary, yes. For espionage, no. Okay, so you swear you didn't hire me two years ago just to entrap my mother? Of course not. Don't get paranoid on me now. Uh, but when you found out about it, you didn't warn me. The chief ordered me to keep quiet about it. I hope you understand. 
sure he probably didn't want me to warn her, and maybe he even hoped that she would come here so that you could arrest her. Oh no, we never thought she'd come back here. Frankly, I was shocked she would do something so foolish. Please don't call my mother foolish to my face. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to distress you. It's a hot one out here today. Hello? Jason, what are you doing here? You're back. Like a bad penny. Maggie, I uh, left my wallet inside. Your wallet? Uh, yes, I think I left it yesterday uh, inside, really. Really? Really. You could have called me to tell me about this. True. So why didn't you? Well, maybe I wanted to see you one last time. Oh. And I have some research to share. <laughs> but my wallet first. Tomorrow's Monday. I need my work ID. I bet there's no wallet inside. How much? How much what? Do you want to bet? <laughs> Let's say 20. I'll go look for it. I'll be glad to help. I'll help too. I'll any place in particular? Did by the bedside table. I think it must have fallen on mine. You know. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'll be right back. Behave. <laughs> you know, I did some research on you too. How exciting. No, actually, more like boring. You certainly did get good grades in engineering, didn't you? <laughs> I remember kids like you when I was at school. Studying too much to have any fun. I had fun. Studying. <laughs> you like those flowers? I do. Do you? I do. Very much. Fresh picked, I'd say. You have a good eye. I see you found the wallet. The wallet you said wouldn't be there. Tell me something, Maggie. How did it look when you found it? Like this. No, I mean, did it look like it had fallen haphazardly? Or like it had been neatly placed. What is your point? Oh, I'm just trying to understand your friend Jason here a little better. Is he a klutz who's always knocking things down? Or is he simply forgetful? Or is he positively sneaky, hiding his wallet in some dark corner so that he has a reason to come and see you again? It looked like it fell behind the nightstand. All right. Clutch it in! Trent, please, take a couple of deep breaths. What is that, some kind of meditation thing? Take a couple of deep breaths? I'm getting all the oxygen my lungs can handle. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> say so. <clears throat> Thank Don't you. put that wallet away. I owe you $20. Forget it. Oh, no, no, I lost. Fair and square. Here. Oh. Oh. We never really settled on amounts. I lost. Take my money. Or... Are you trying to insult me? Okay, then. That wasn't so hard, was it? No. Now what are you doing? Nothing. Was my, my money too dirty for your pocket? No! Ah! Let me see what the bottle says to do. Water, wash them out with water. Yeah. That kid opened my eye! Wash them with water. Repeatedly. Sorry about that. Well, he sprayed himself. By accident? Yes, but he had it coming. Maybe he did, but I think he I'm better I'm glad you like the flowers. Where did you get them? My bedroom window looks out over the woods. When the sun came up, I saw them and I thought of you. You were up all night? Yeah, doing research. When did you sneak in here and drop these off? About uh, 6 a.m. You could have asked for your wallet then. Yeah, but I uh, figured you were sleeping. I was. You know, wildflowers are very hardy in the wild, but when you pick them, they don't last long. I hope they last long. In your memory. Are you still here? I still need to share my research. You know what? I think you've shared enough already. Well, I think what you want. Actually, you know what I think? I think you should use, you could use some help with this whole germophobia thing. I think a qualified head doctor could do you a lot of good. Why don't you let you give me a name? Trent. And what, what, a, a, a virgin until yesterday? Yeah, the shrinks are going to have a field day with you. Stop, now. I'm just trying to help. Oh, well, like with Maggie's mother. Oh, well, you certainly were a great help with her. I'm afraid that couldn't be helped. But that reminds me. Somebody tipped off the Russians. Somebody called them and told them that she had been arrested. 
I wonder who that was. I'm sure it wasn't you, was it, Maggie? I did it. And you call yourself an American. <laughs> Helping out an enemy spy? Well, first of all, I don't really know if she's a spy. All I know is that she's Maggie's mother. So I was just uh, calling the embassy because she's in trouble. Isn't that what they say you're supposed to do when you're in trouble? You call the embassy in a foreign country? I don't know. You are naive. You are so naive, but it doesn't matter. The Russians can file all the protests they want. They're going to keep her locked up for a while. Well, isn't there some chance? No. I'm sorry, Maggie. There's not a snowball's chance in hell. They've got the goods on her. I don't think she's going to be seeing daylight anytime soon. Hello, is that a party? I do love a party. Mama? Hey, Tachka. This is Ferovsky. It's so nice to I see you. I told you first name only. Julia. I said, what the hell are you doing here? Why don't you go ask the nice people who drove me here? You might still catch them. Don't you go anywhere. Mama, you're free. How did that happen? I am free from jail, but I cannot stay. They made me promise to leave the country. Was the interrogation bad? Interrogation? You call that interrogation? Mm -hmm. They should come to Russia. I will show them interrogation. <laughs> <laughs> this is something to boast about? Listen. I have ticket for plane tonight. I am sorry our visit is being cut so short. But perhaps soon you will be coming to live with me. Yes, Mama, I want to live here. Darling, you have to live where they let you live. If they say get out, then you must get out. It's not so bad. There are many beautiful places in the world to live. Places that would be glad to have you. Like Russia, like your apartment. I have spare room. You are welcome to that. Why don't you come with me on my flight tonight? Have a look at the place. I will buy you to get Those clowns don't know anything. I just don't get it, Juliana. Why do they let you go? What do you have, some kind of get out of jail free car or something? Oh, capitalist game. Monopoly. Mm -hmm. No, I do not have car. I have something else. And what was that? Phone number. Oh, what, you mean that call Jason made? No, that was to Russian embassy at the Aliostas. But I wanted to give them a chance to file protests. So they think maybe I am free because of their efforts. Wait, you mean that Pentagon number? Yes, American Hitler. Wait, you mean that crazy story was true? He finally checked voicemail and pulled back. Will you spy for America? A double agent? At least double. Maybe more. I lose track. But, but if you're an American agent, why do you have to leave the country? I am not citizen. I used to do some favors now and then. And right now, Americans think I am more useful in Russia. Christ. You put American operation at risk. Nice going. We had no way of knowing. Of course not. I am just giving you a hard time. You are maybe my future son-in-law, no? No, uh, I certainly hope so. It's always important to give son-in-law a hard time. Mama, I have no intention of marrying him. Good. <laughs> Don't rush into marriage. Listen to me, I know. Did you rush into it with Papa? No, oh, did I ever. You two never seem to get along. Yeah, moments. <laughs> I never felt like I could get close to him. He was a hard man. I never felt like he cared about me the way you did. I'm sorry. Sometimes when you were gone on one of your trips, he would hit me hard. I know, boy. I know. Let me hold you. When you come with me to Sochi, we will have lots of time to spend together. We can travel around the world together. You have not done much traveling, have you? Not really. Well, this is the time while you are young. I can show you so many things. Don't listen to her, Maggie. She's my mother. Yes, but you have to ask yourself, was she a good mother? Hey, nobody speaks ill of my mother. And why is that? I don't want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about it because you're in denial. The truth is, she's not a good mother. She tells you big lies and, and then what, leaves you at home with a father who hits you? What do you call that? Is that love? But she does love me no matter what she did. Do you see how he is trying to break the bond between us? Is this the kind of husband you want? Mama, maybe just shut up and let me think. That's good, man. You too, Trent. Shut up. You know, maybe I would be better going somewhere by myself, even if it is to Russia. 
St. Petersburg, maybe I, I could support myself by teaching English or something. At least could have some peace and quiet and no one telling me what to do. Maggie! Think. I hate to break into this, but could I show you something? Jason, not now. Maggie, uh, I uh, did some research and I wanted to show you an article about the uh, burglary. Quite the boy detective! Breaking in the new year? Yeah, New Year's Day. Nice and quiet at the UN, I bet. And the guards were humble. Maggie, look at the year. The year you were born. Oh, right. Wait. Mama, you were already expecting me? I was not exactly expecting <laughs> Because I did not know yet, but you were there very little, were you? <laughs> Here's another article with a timeline. Look where I underlined. In September, the glamorous spy known only as Julie disappeared from the United States, eluding a massive manhunt. That's well, nothing. In September. You left the United States in September? <coughs> in cargo ship. Not comfortable. Oh, but I was born in August. So I recall. Oh, so that means I must have been born here after all. Well, we still need to figure out exactly where. <laughs> this is great news. Thank you, Jason. Well, you're very welcome. That's some good detective work. Thank you. Unfortunately, it's just not going to be good enough. This came through last night. It's in Russia. <laughs> of course it is. Let me help you. This is a birth certificate. Hey! <clears throat> you see this, uh, this word here that looks like Makhba? That's Moscow. And, um, oh, this name here, that's Margarita. And this date, October 2nd. How did you get this? Oh, we have our ways. Wait, October 2nd? No, my birthday is August 2nd. Ask your mother. Please don't tell me you lied about my birthday. I would not call it lying. What would you call it? Moving. <laughs> you stole a little from October back to August. So they would accept you in kindergarten. Whole year early. <laughs> you are not such a child. I can't believe this. It was for your own good. I oh um, <laughs> You've always got an excuse, don't you? I never have excuses. I have reasons. Well, Trent tells me you cheated on Papa with an American diplomat. What was your reason for that? Your Papa was out of town. That made it okay? <laughs> that made it safer. What diplomat? Friendly American fellow. He knew the combination to a certain safe. Very helpful. Yeah, a little too helpful. He lost his job. He had a good time while it lasted. Oh, I'll bet he did. Truth is, I can't even blame him. <laughs> Look at her, Jason. She still oozes sex appeal. How many guys can resist that? I am liking you better. Wait. Maggie, do the math. Jason, please, I need to talk to my mother. We are not needing mathematics right now. Jason, maybe you should leave. You know, I've been saying the same thing all along. That's right, little fella. I think the ladies would like you to leave. January 1st, October 2nd. What are you saying? How many months is that? January 1st, October 2nd. Look at me, Margarita. This is time for us to share. Let's you and me go inside for quality time. Ladies, men themselves to fight. Nine months. What are you talking about? Months. Nine months. And Papa was out of town on New Year's. No wonder he never liked me. He did the math too. Your Papa loved you. He wasn't my Papa at all. <laughs> of course he was. Look at the person. This is your real one. See, right here. Father Stefan Borowski. Another lie, isn't it? <laughs> Tell me the truth for once. He tried to love you. <laughs> He was not a bad man. Well, he was. But he tried. But what about my real father? What about him? Is he ashamed of me? Does he even know about me? No. Is he still alive? Yes. Maggie. Do you know what this means? It means I don't even know who my real father is. It is something else. I'm not sure I can handle anything else. It means your father an American diplomat, which means he's an American citizen, which means you're an American citizen, which means you inherit the rights 
the flag, the taxes. <laughs> I'm a citizen after all. Yeah, after all. Wait, wait, you don't have any proof. You don't have any proof of any of this. Proof. I swear. He's alive. Get a DNA match. That's plenty of proof. If I may make a suggestion, there are many ways to acquire this DNA. He does not need to know why. He's going to know. Because I'm going to meet him. He's my father. You may be disappointed. At least he won't hit me. Yeah. So what's his real name? Sean O'Malley. <laughs> I'm Irish? I'm afraid so. Drink all the green beer you can drink on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I don't think so. Speaking of alcohol, Maggie, do you have any vodka? Uh, yes, why? We could use it. We must celebrate your citizenship. Uh, I'll get that for you, thank you. Now yeah, Betty likes vodka. Guaranteed germ free. <coughs> Thomas, something just occurred to me. You knew all along about my citizenship. I knew you wanted to be an American, yes. No, you knew I already was because my real father was, and you didn't say anything. I thought you did not want to know that you were born on the wrong side of blank with his expression, yes? That's right. I'm illegitimate, too. Apparently you're illegitimate, but legal. His paradox. So you knew I could be deported and you didn't say anything. Let me for Mother. <laughs> my question. There is much time for questions after toast. What are we even toasting? <laughs> my American daughter. Zavas. Zavas. To Maggie. To my home. I could use one more. <laughs> I think you've had enough time to come clean. Why didn't you say anything? I love you. Keep going. I miss you. And so? So then I hear you will be deported to Russia. In my heart, I rejoice. I am a woman, woman. I am a cross ocean from only living flesh and blood relative. In my soul, I ache to spend time with you. Is that so bad? Oh, mama. And someday, you will make grandchildren for me. And will I get to see them? Will I get to play with them and have them call me babushka? How often? <laughs> Mama, I don't even know if I want children. That you really will. is sad. And I will miss them. Sad. You know how I feel. I have children. In California. I never get to see them. Well, almost never. You have children? It's an ugly divorce. I don't like to talk about it. You're divorced? I never really thought I'd get over it. But I think I could. With you. Ted, please, it's not going to happen. <laughs> I should've known. Should've known what? Uh, nothing. Never mind. Come on. There is no shortage of women in the world. Not for a man of your personal presence. <laughs> if you say so. Trust me. Trust you. On this. <laughs> you know, it is too bad your handler doesn't want you living here. Perhaps I could be assigned a new handler. Someone who might find me useful in this country. Interesting idea. A man like you, a man of power, could make that happen. Perhaps. And then I could see my daughter whenever I wanted. That is true. <laughs> I would be so grateful. Would you really? Oh, I'm so little tipsy. Could you help me? How can I help you? I need to lie down. Here? On this hard ground where people can see, no. Inside where it is private and comfortable. <laughs> Will you take me? Will I take you? With pleasure. Do you think you can handle me? 
Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Mama, are you feeling okay? I do. Your mother is very Don't say it. resourceful. I guess you could say that. I'm afraid you've lost a suitor, but gained a stepfather. Please. I can't believe you were seriously thinking about marching down the aisle with us. I briefly entertained the idea. I'm glad you found it entertaining. Well, put yourself in my shoes. I don't think they fit. Look. Trent has always been a great boss to me. We've always had a, a warm working relationship. Oh, we've looked very warm. <laughs> that was a lot warmer than usual. But he was proposing. Of course he wanted to kiss me. Oh, next you're going to be telling me what a great kisser he was. He was pretty good. Not quite great. Better than me? More experienced. Less enthusiastic. I really don't want to know this. Stop asking. You don't love him, do you? No. Don't you think marriage should be based on love? Well, he cares about me in his way. Maybe if we shared a life together, he would have grown on me. Sure. Like a fungus. <laughs> you know, I think you need to let this go. I said no to him. I'm just trying to understand why you even thought about saying yes. He made a generous offer. It would have solved my problem. And his problem, too. Two problems solved. Is that so bad? Would you really want to marry a guy who has the hots for your mother? <laughs> I didn't know anything about that. Awkward family reunions. Mm. You seem very jealous. I'm disturbed. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. You seem overattached. <laughs> overattached? That's where your jealousy is coming from, but. It's destructive. You've got to feel that. Well, maybe I am overattached. Overattached to someone who isn't who I thought what I thought she was. You just made an imaginary version of me. It's not my fault that I don't measure up. No, I didn't make her up. You made her up. Well, I never said she was real. That was you. Yeah, but I thought you'd be more like her. She would never think of marrying someone for mere practical reasons. She's a character in a game. But you played her so well. Look, I like her. She's confident, she's passionate, but she's not me. You've got to face that. You have no shortage of passion. You mean in bed that's not what I meant? Then what did you mean? She throws herself into love, not sex. Love, head over heels, without blinking, without questioning the cost. What cost? Love is a gift. There's always a cost. What are you talking about? The cost is when you find out what the other person is really like. When I find out you're scary and you find out I'm ordinary. The fantasy was addictive for us, Jason. Do you know I saved most of our transcripts and read them over and over? Do you know how nuts that is? People save old love letters and reread them. I've saved our old transcripts. I've reread them. That doesn't make me nuts. <laughs> Do you remember that time in the game when I said our love was overwhelming me, like the tide rolling in? We should have stopped then. Yeah, I remember. I, I even remember how I answered. I said we could raise, rise like seagulls safely above the tide. But that's not what happened. We both got overwhelmed by the tide. This isn't something you can rescue me, rescue me from. We'll just pull each other down into the water. You can only save me this time by walking away. Oh, OK. Well, uh, put it that way. I'll go. I thought it was all too good to be true. And it was. I hope someday you find whatever the hell you're looking for. You don't need to go just yet. I think I do. For your own good, apparently. Listen, thank you for yesterday. Well, you can't just say thank you and march away like that. You told me I needed to walk away from you to save you, remember? Yes, but not yet. Why not? You said thank you. 
so. So, that reminded me, I think I have some things to thank you for. I think I neglected to do it and all the excitement, and I can't bear to see you leave with your spirit so crushed, so I, I have to say thank you to cheer you up a little. I'm fine. Are you going to do me the courtesy of listening to me or not? Can't you just say thanks for everything and be done with That's it? That's not how it works. There's a protocol. <laughs> I have to say my appreciation. You need to hear it, even if things aren't going to work out between us. I'll listen. Sit down and listen. All right. Good. Um, let me see. Did I thank you for these pretty flowers? Yeah, you said you liked them. Well, that's not quite a thank you, is it? So, thank you. I, sure, I wish you wouldn't kiss me. You don't like my kisses anymore? I still like the way it feels. A lot. I, I just don't know what it means. I, I don't even know who you are anymore. It just means a big thank you from a woman to a man, even if we might as well be strangers, all right? I guess. You saved my life once. Did I ever thank you for that? Yes, many times. You can skip that one. No, no. You only get one life in this game, and I'm still using this one. I wish you wouldn't kiss me. It just mixes me up. I'm a mixed up, confusing person. That's why you're so disturbed with me, remember? I don't need to remember. I'm living it in real time. Wasn't there one more thing? Something about not getting flushed down the drain to Mother Russia. Thank you. <laughs> I can't take much more of this or my head is going to explode. It was just some research. Can I go now? One more thing about research. You're pretty good at it, right? I am. It's one of the things you do best, right? I guess. But Thunderbolt never does any research, does he? He's a warrior, not a researcher. Exactly. <laughs> He's a brave warrior and not the kind of guy who's afraid of a few germs, is he? Maybe his mother didn't die of an infection. I'm sorry for your loss, but don't try to take me off track. Where are you going with this? Here's where I'm going. You're not just like Thunderbolt, so you've got your nerve for getting up on your high horse and getting angry with me for not being like Wildflower. I'm not angry, I'm disappointed. I see your face, angry. Oh, we're right, fine, have it your way. I'm angry at myself for being such a stupid, unrealistic idiot. Is that enough of an admission for you? Are you satisfied? Can I go now? One more thing. Only one? Good. What is it? I'm trying to understand this whole process by which you messed up my mind with this fantasy relationship. It just happened. No, it didn't just happen. You, you made it happen. You sought me out. God, look, let's go back to the beach. Beach? You saved my life once. How did you know how to do that? Boy Scouts. Life saving merit badge. Boy Scouts. Oh. Figures. <laughs> did you know who I was? No. After that, you started keeping track of me? No, I mean, we talked once in a while. Uh, you remember? Not really. You think you were in love with me? No, but I liked watching you breathe. I gave you that. Then you moved away. And then? I did a search for you online, once a year. Once a year? July 14th. Bastille Day? Why Bastille Day? It's the day I saved you. Okay, so you were looking me up once a year. When did that change? When I saw that you had moved back to the area, it felt like a good opportunity to get back in touch, personally. <laughs> but you did not get back in touch, not personally. I was afraid. Of what? Of how it would look. You mean like a stalker? Yes, and what if you had changed? What if I didn't like you anymore? How did you find me in the game? You posted some comments in an online forum, and you said your name was Wildflower. So you joined up? Yes. And made friends? Yes. But didn't tell me who you really were. I wanted to. But you didn't. 
I figured by the time we were already friends, it would seem bad how I hadn't explained everything up front. <laughs> it does look kind of bad, doesn't it? I guess. It looks less than honest. Well, less than forthright. A lot less than forthright. Face it, you took advantage of me. No. You knew who I was. You, you studied my life one year at a time. Yes. You but... charmed me. You seduced me. I seduced you? <laughs> I don't think so. Of course you did. You came on to me. Oh, I resisted. The hell I did. The hell you didn't. I remembered you as what you were, this sweet, innocent little girl. But now you were this, this... What? A wanton wench? <laughs> I didn't say that. Why exactly were you Mr. Cloistered Monk until yesterday? No opportunities? Don't believe that. Too afraid of germs? Don't believe that either. You seemed willing enough yesterday. I was waiting. For me? For someone like you. Like me how? Like how I imagined you, sort of ideal. So what you're saying is you saved my life, then wrecked your own by obsessing over me. Oh, no, some ideal version of me. And then you get me in bed and you're disappointed? I'm not saying that. It's what I'm hearing. I think you better go. I don't want to get dragged back into your fantasy. But. No, go, unless you want to look like even more of a stalker. I am so <laughs> sick of that word. What word? Stalker. Uh, people throw it around every time one person pursues another. Like, that's always such a bad thing. So now you think stalking's a good thing? <clears throat> I think pursuing people can be a good thing, and I think people naturally pursue what they desire. And I think the entire animal kingdom would be in a state of disarray if people didn't, <laughs> if things didn't pursue one another. Now you're talking about animals. And we are the animals that talk and reason and make laws, and I have pursued you within those laws. I suppose that's true. Good. I'm glad you suppose so. Now I'm done. You seem very defensive. Maybe because you keep attacking me. I still don't feel like I've gotten the truth out of you. But Thunderbolt wouldn't be so defensive, would he? Thunderbolt would own up to everything. He's an imaginary character. Isn't that what you keep telling me? But you don't seem to agree, do you? So, let's give it a test. Let's see if we can draw him forth. Draw him forth? Let's say this is a magic blossom. While you hold it, you have to answer as Thunderbolt. You told me only had one more question to ask. <laughs> Aren't we way past that? This isn't a question for you. It's a question for Thunderbolt. I don't know if this is such a good idea. Just do it. All right. What do you wish to ask? Wildflower? No, I'm Maggie, asking you, Thunderbolt. Oh, right. What do you wish to ask, Maggie? Thunderbolt, I know you always speak honest and true. So tell me, why did Jason keep track of me all this time? Because destiny has joined you. Because he has loved you ever since that day on the beach. Loved you without questioning, without wavering. He waited for you, and his love was rewarded. Oh my god. I knew it. Of course you did. Can I be myself now? You really shouldn't listen to him. He's got a really overactive imagination. Jason, you're crazy. About you. <laughs> But somehow Thunderbolt makes it sound normal. My turn. Hold the magic blossom. Hold it? While you hold it, you must answer as wildflower. And this is definitely a bad idea. Fair is fair. <laughs> you only get one question. I only ask you one. All right. One question. Straight to the point. Are you ready? I will answer you, Jason. Wildflower, I know you would never lie, so tell me, does Maggie love me?
Of course she loves you. She loves you madly. She loves you so much, it terrifies her beyond reason. So, who's crazy now? <laughs> There's a lot of it going around. <laughs> oh, no, we can't. My mother, Trent. <laughs> oh, right. What about your place? What about it? Is it clean? I mean, presentable? Yes, very. Well, Hello. let's go see if we can make it dirty. Oh, fair lady. <laughs> Noble warrior. Let us go. You have got an honor today. You have rescued me from exile. It was nothing. Now, let us flee this place. <laughs> to your home. Bye.